Welcome. Today I'd like to begin with a question to help introduce our topic. Which of these two options would you choose if you had the choice? The first option is this. Let's say that for 24 hours I could make you a billionaire. You'd be famous, but after 24 hours you'd be thrown into jail. You'd have to stay there for the rest of your life. That's option number one. Or you could choose this. For 24 hours you will be in jail and you'll be penniless. But after 24 hours, I could guarantee you that you'd be freed from jail, and for the rest of your life, you'd be a billionaire, and you'd live in a beautiful palace. Which of these two options would you choose? Well, obviously, we would all take option number two. It'd be foolish to take the first option, as no one would want to be a billionaire for only one day and then spend the rest of their life in jail. But you know, that's exactly what many of you are doing right now. Some of you, you haven't put your faith in Christ and you're living life the way that you want to, and you've left God out, and you're forgetting that eternity is coming. In terms of time, our life is far less than a day compared to eternity. Yet you have foolishly chosen to ignore Christ, and you're living only for this life. Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Well, then on the other hand, there are some of you who are Christians. You have put your faith in Christ. You are going to heaven. But most of the time, you're living for yourself, and you're not living for Christ. You're not going to lose heaven. But according to the Bible, I want you to see that those times you have not lived for Christ, they will result in your losing eternal rewards. Where does the Bible teach that? The Bible says we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that each one may receive what is due him for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad. 2 Corinthians 